Hey everyone, my name is Holly and I'm a program manager on Planner at Microsoft. Today I'd love to talk to you about Microsoft's task ecosystem. This is obviously a topic near and dear to my heart as a Planner PM and it's a journey that my team has been on for quite a while. To that end, some of the content that I'm going to show you may be familiar, but I would love to provide a refresher since this is just such an important journey we are on and an update as to what's been happening recently and what will be happening soon to help you manage tasks across Microsoft 365. First, I'd love to show a quick video to illustrate some of the exciting capabilities I'll be talking about today. Schedule a meeting, pick up groceries, assign a team, cross off more tasks in Microsoft 365. Stay on top of your day with access to tasks wherever you are. Say goodbye to searching for the things you have to do. Your tasks follow you through the apps you use most. So you always know exactly what you need to accomplish and won't miss any important deadlines. It's easy to manage your tasks or your teams. So you can take control of your workload, stay focused and productive, keep a team organized on any device. Since tasks are integrated in Microsoft 365, you can start using them today. Stay on top of your tasks with Microsoft 365. Now, before I get into the details of all the functionality you just saw in that video, let me take a step back and show you the problem we're working on. Specifically, why are we trying to build a Microsoft 365 task ecosystem? For my talk today, I'd love to first share with you some of the pain points we're seeing in the working world today and how we're building a task ecosystem at Microsoft to help. We hear this constantly from our users. It is incredibly overwhelming to track and manage all the work you're being asked to do. I'm sure this resonates with all of you. I can certainly relate to this myself. There are signals now from so many different places telling you, reminding you, notifying you that you have work to do. And this problem is only getting worse as more and more productivity tools are added to your daily work management. And these tools each have their own unique way of letting you track work in context, get work from others, and remind you about your work. Keeping track of all these different places is now one more thing on your already too long to do list and trying to remember all the places you have to check to find your tasks defeats the purpose of making a to do list in the first place. Additionally, having these tasks spread across so many different tools and services means it's really tough, if not impossible, to get an all up view of everything on your plate. This causes stress that you are missing something you're supposed to be doing, and it also makes it difficult to prioritize across all your work to ensure you're working on your most important task. And those are the problems we want to help you with and why we are building a Microsoft task ecosystem. With this ecosystem, we want to make sure you can still capture all your tasks contextually. There's a reason you have all these different places you are tracking tasks. You don't want to break the flow of what you are doing. We need to jot down a quick reminder or task. The problem is these tasks then get stuck in whatever app you were using at the time you wrote it down. So we want to make sure these tasks, wherever you are capturing them, are syncing to a shared task backend. This task backend is as an aggregation of everything you need to do, and we can build awesome tools and services on top of that to help you better manage your tasks. These task management tools can help you understand your full set of work, triage and track them, prioritize and focus. And any changes you make to your tasks in any of these awesome tools sync to that same task backend. We want you to feel confident that all your tasks are captured, in control of your full set of work, and a sense of calm that you are prioritizing effectively. And as we continue to build out the task ecosystem, we always keep in mind these three pillars. I'll talk more about these throughout my presentation, but to give a quick overview now. Coherence. You shouldn't have to struggle to recognize what a task is or relearn how to manage it based on what tool you happen to be using when you access it. We want you to know when you see a task and know what that means you can expect about its behavior. Intelligence. Throughout the task ecosystem, from capturing, triaging, prioritizing, tracking, and completing tasks, we want to make sure we're providing you whatever assistance we can. From suggesting tasks you might have missed to helping you build your lists of tasks for the day, we want you to feel like you can offload some of the mental burden of planning your work. Integration. We believe that all the fabulous Microsoft tools and services should only be better when you use them together. And we should bring you some behind the scenes magic by making all these tools and services talk to each other and share information, giving you the flexibility to move between them seamlessly. Now let's take a look at how we think about the different pieces of the Microsoft 365 task ecosystem. 
So this slide is our mental model of the Microsoft 365 task ecosystem. Starting at the center, you have your Task Hero apps, which are rich, full-featured task management experiences for enthusiast users who want a dedicated experience and advanced functionality. Moving out to the next string, we are building task hubs into your existing work management platforms like Outlook and Teams. This will give you contextual task management user experience and rich integrations with your existing workflows and tools. Then finally, you have your task endpoints at the edge. These are the endpoints where you capture your task contextually and you can manage a relevant subset of them as well. With this structure, you can capture your tasks everywhere and manage them anywhere. As you can see, each piece of the ecosystem plays an important role throughout the process of task management. From capturing tasks everywhere to managing them as you work to focusing and managing via a more dedicated experience. For the rest of this presentation, I'll dive into some examples in each of these categories to show you how this works in practice. Let's now start at the first step, task capture, showing you some exciting task endpoints we're working on to help you capture your tasks everywhere. Let me start with an experience that may be familiar to you, but has had some exciting updates recently, tasks and office documents. We know many of our users like you are collaborating in office documents, having conversations in the comments around the contents of that document, mentioning others or yourself to send a notification that some input is needed, and generally using the comments pane as a way to generate, track, and manage work that needs to be done in a document. This work to be done sounds a lot like tasks, does it not? <laughs> we thought the same, which is why we are making this part of the task ecosystem. We are releasing tasks and office documents in two main phases, each to help serve a different customer need. Phase one is about helping users in Word, Excel, and PowerPoint create and track explicit asks on themselves or others. That is, users can taskify a comment thread by mentioning either themselves or someone else and assigning it to that person. That person will get a notification that a task was assigned to them. When you go into the office document, the comments that are tasked will look distinct, and there is special coloring to help you find the task in a document assigned to you. Our hope is this will help our users prioritize where to spend their time as they're sifting through all the conversations that are happening in an office document. Phase one is rolling out now in Word and Excel web apps and will be coming soon to PowerPoint, Win32, Mac, and mobile. We'd love to hear what you think about this experience, so please send your feedback via user voice. And phase two is where we truly bring this experience into the task ecosystem. With phase two, the mentions you choose to turn into tasks will sync to the task ecosystem backend and will be tracked along all your other tasks. While we don't have a concrete date to announce yet, we're hard at work on it and excited to bring it to you as soon as we can. While we don't have a date to announce yet, I did want to provide a sneak peek of some of the work we've been doing to bring these tasks from Word, Excel, and PowerPoint into the task ecosystem. You can see the tasks you are adding to the Word doc are now triggering the creation of a plan linked to that doc, and the tasks are syncing there. Obviously, there's still a lot of work for us to do, but we are excited to share this piece of progress with you all. Another way we help you capture tasks at Microsoft is a little help from Cortana. Cortana will send you personalized daily briefing emails that include suggestions for tasks you may have missed based on your emails, calendar, et cetera. These suggested tasks can also be found in the insights add-in on Outlook and added to your to-do list and used to prioritize and manage your work for the day. This will become generally available for M365 enterprise users in English starting September 2020. The demo you're seeing here shows the briefing email de delivered automatically to your inbox near the start of your day to help you prepare for upcoming meetings and manage your tasks. This is personal and private, carried especially for you from your emails, meetings, and documents. This email will also include personalized pending requests or commitments from prior emails, and with one click, you can add these as tasks in Microsoft To Do. We love having Cortana offload some of the mental burden of keeping track of all your tasks and we're continuing to expand on the ways Cortana can help you feel confident that you are capturing all your tasks. And we also let you turn your emails into tasks explicitly via the Outlook web app. There are a couple of ways we let you do that. You can open up the to-do pane on the right-hand side and drag and drop any email into that pane to turn it into a task. From that task, you can open up the original email again to help you find any context you would need to work on it. Alternatively, you can highlight any task in an email itself and add that as a task directly, which helps narrow down the focus of the task you're creating. There's a demo of how that works later on in this presentation. We're also working on enabling similar functionality in Teams, since this is another place so many of your work conversations are happening. While this isn't released yet, you'll soon be able to quickly create tasks right from any Teams chat or channel conversation without having to switch apps or windows. In this way, you can turn any Teams message into a task, setting an assignee and due date. 
And like with tasks from emails, we'll make it easy for you to get back to the full conversation to make sure you have the context you need to complete the task. Speaking of Teams and Outlook, these are such central hubs of work management that we also provide task management functionality from within those contexts. Obviously, giving you full task management functionality in these hubs is a journey, but we recently took a big step forward with the introduction of the Teams Task App. As you may have already heard, we have recently started rolling out our new Task Apps in Teams. We know that for many of our users, Teams is the center of your workday, especially now that so much of our work is done remotely. So we're really excited about Teams being a place you can now see your tasks are both planned to do together in the same place. This gives you powerful task management capabilities, all in the context of the app you are already using for so much of your workday. We know that Outlook is one of the other primary apps you use every day to get your work done, and so we consider it a key task management hub as well. In fact, as you may already know, the task experience in Outlook is now fully powered by Todo, and this close partnership means you can do things like drag a task onto your calendar to block off time to work on it, see the work you've planned in your My Day without leaving the Outlook context, etc. We see this as a hub with equally important task management requirements as Teams, so we will continue to invest in making the Outlook Hub a powerful center of task management. So we've covered your task endpoints and task hubs, so we just may have one topic left, task hero apps. So last, but certainly not least, in my very biased opinion, you have to-do and planner. These are dedicated apps for when you want to focus task management experience. Planner gives you simple, collaborative by design management for team tasks. To-do is for planning your own personal day and workload. As you likely already know, tasks you create and planner that are assigned to you will also show in your to-do app, making to-do your one-stop shop for managing all your personal tasks, including prioritizing your backlog and planning your day. Speaking of planning your day, I have one last thing to show you. I wanted to end on one of my personal favorite tools of the Microsoft 365 task ecosystem, My Day and To-Do. I personally start every day by opening up To-Do and using My Day to plan out my workload for that day. I see the set of tasks suggested for me based on what I didn't finish yesterday, tasks that are due today, what reminders I've set, what tasks I captured recently, etc. These suggestions are an aggregation from across the task ecosystem, including my flagged emails, my planner tasks, my to-do tasks, Outlook emails I turned into tasks, etc. I then spend a few minutes sorting my day in the priority order I want to work through things. And because I'm usually a little over-optimistic about how many things I can get done in a day, I start the ones that absolutely have to get done today. This way I start each day confident that I'm working on the most important work that needs to happen today. I know tasks that I've added anywhere will show up here, so I have one consolidated set of tasks to reason over. With my trust in the Microsoft task ecosystem, I spend way less time trying to remember all the places I need to check and worry that I've forgotten something important, and I can spend more time actually getting the task done. While that's the end of my talk today, there are other resources here for you to learn even more about the task management experience. These resources are updated regularly, so check back for the latest and greatest for the Microsoft task ecosystem. And if you want to learn even more about tasks, I encourage you to check out our other task management sessions. And thank you for letting us walk you through the Microsoft 365 task ecosystem. I hope you're as excited about it as we are. Well, maybe as I am. 